Hey everybody, Venom Lion here uh, with a bit of a weird video today. Uh, first things first, uh, no, I haven't been crying. Well, yes, but it's not because I'm sad. Uh, it's because, you know, I was preparing to uh, record some episodes of Undertale, uh, put on my contact lenses. But, you know, I had cooked with uh, fucking jalapenos beforehand. So, um, yeah, I really fucked up my eyes pretty bad there. I won't be able to record like my eyes are fucking burning right now and i need to look up on the internet how to get those fucking jalapeno traces off my finger so i can you know remove my contact lenses while i'm here and explaining that to you i guess i will explain some other things that has been going on in my life in the past few months uh, as some of you know i have three jobs right i do youtube uh, uploading every day uh, I'm a level designer at Gearbox, which is my main career, which I like very much. And I've also been teaching level design for the past few months also. The way the channel grew over the last year is pretty amazing to me. And I'm enjoying a lot, like creating the content, editing it and everything. There's so many skills required to have a YouTube channel that maybe not everyone realizes that makes it fun. I'm learning a lot of stuff. You know, my English is getting better. I'm getting better at editing. And teaching was amazing because I remember a couple of years ago when I went back to school for design, like I was at the same place as the students I, I just thought to, you know, like I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I've never felt good at anything before my mid twenties. And it's really like, in design school that I feel like I found my calling. It's, it's, it's the big fight of the 20s, right? Trying to find what the fuck are you going to do with your goddamn life, you know? And I found it and that felt amazing because I come from a very poor family. I never thought I would amount to anything in my life. And I'm very successful at my job and I get recognition. Uh, my peers seem to love me. It's so fulfilling, you know, and it filled me with a pride and determination that I never had before. And I think that I tried to push myself too hard. Uh, you know, when I started teaching, I was like, oh, this is going to be amazing. I will help other people find their calling and I will be able to give what some of my teachers gave me when I was at school. I will be able to provide that to other people. And that is amazing. The experience itself was really fun. Obviously, like seeing their design minds evolve over the last few months was, it's so fulfilling in a way that is hard to explain. Like you are teaching people how to better themselves and you see them grow. It is so fulfilling. It's, it's, it's amazing. And I also found like a lot of joy with the YouTube channel, you know, like discovering the Hello franchise with some of you guys, like all the positive comments and everything. It's amazing too, you know, in under a year, I was able to get to a thousand subscribers, which is crazy, you know, because like when I was working at Ubisoft and stuff, like sometimes I spoke in front of like a hundred people for some events or something, something like that. And a hundred people is a lot of fucking people, guys. That, that's a lot of bodies, you know? And just thinking sometimes that a thousand people hit that red button, it, it's insane. It's, it, that's a lot of faces, you know? It's not just numbers. Behind every number, there's an actual human being, and that is mind-blowing to me. I'm successful at my main job working in level design, and the channel was going great, and I had fun teaching. Each of those things... I found very fun to do, but doing them, the three of them at the same time made me more unhappy than I was for a long time. Uh, I'm tired, extremely tired. Uh, yeah, I'm really fucking tired. <laughs> I don't know why I pushed myself to do all those things at the same time. There's no reason for it. And I think I tried to push myself to do all three because somehow not long ago, I felt like I wasn't going to be able to be good at anything in my life or that I would never, you know, do something with my life. And now I had three things that brought me a lot of joy. So I didn't want to give up 
any of those, you know, I, I wanted to keep pursuing those three things because, you know, they were rewarding to me. But what I failed to recognize is that you can only split yourself so much, you know. It started with some, you know, subtle things like I started being more and more mad sometimes when uh, I was receiving feedback on my work or even like for the channel, right? Like my best bro, the one who does my thumbnail, right? One of my absolute best friends in the world. Sometimes he was just poking me about like feedback on my videos and stuff. And it's always good feedback too. And I appreciate it a lot. But I was just like, well, there's nothing that I can do now. You know, like I, I don't have the time, whatever. Like I started becoming so short tempered because I didn't have the time to act on that feedback. When you think about it, I was working 40 hours a week. I am posting one video a day on this channel, which requires about one and a half to two and a half hours of work each video. And on top of that, one night a week I was teaching, but the big part of teaching though is like preparing the classes and uh, grading the assignments. So if you just take a look at that, I was working maybe like, I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I, I can't do the math right now. I was just basically working all the time. The most difficult things with juggling three occupations like that is that you always feel like you're failing at one of them. So let's say, for example, it's a Monday morning. I come into work. I start working. In the back of my mind, I'll be like, okay, I need to prepare for tomorrow's classes. And also I need to keep an eye out on my release schedule to make sure I have one video a day for the rest of the week, right? So I got into situations. Fucking love my cats, man. <laughs> so I got into situations in which like I was planning my week the Sunday and the next time I would be able to, you know, just sit in this chair and chill playing video games on my own would be like on the Thursday night or some, something like that. Like I had spans of like three to four days where I couldn't do anything else other than work. And realistically, I could only work on two of those three things in a single day, right? Like, there's no way I was able to, you know, uh, you know, work at my main job, then prepare classes, and then go on to record some videos in the same day. That, that, that did not happen ever. So every day I worked on two of those three things, you know, work at my main job, prepare for classes, or work at my main job, and uh, edit some videos or record some of them or something like that. During the weekends, I was preparing for my classes or grading assignments and stuff like that and recording videos very very rarely in the last few months i had a day off where i just didn't do anything and the worst part about that is that while i was you know working on two of the three things that i need to do i always felt like i was falling behind on one of them if i didn't work on the channel i was getting anxious about not having enough time to record and edit the videos for the week. If I wasn't, you know, preparing for the classes or grading assignments and stuff like that, I was just anxious that it was taking too much time and that I wouldn't be able to prepare for the actual classes. And if it was during the weekend where I was just like working on the other two things, I was just getting anxious about the following work week and if I would even have the creative strength to act actually like do my job properly and that has been going on for months now it's hard and at one point i realized that i am unhappy i've been unhappy in the last few months and it's weird because i'm doing things that i like but the volume is too much so I took the decision to stop teaching. Um, the last semester ended two weeks ago. Uh, but, you know, since then, I've just had to grade their final assignment, right? Which was huge. And 
I spent the whole week uh, trying to balance, you know, the three things that I need to do. And today, like, I have to record episodes, right? Because I won't have the time to edit them and, you know, release them. One thing that really saved me is, I told you guys I, I shipped a DLC for Borderlands 3 recently, right? The one with Krieg. I was so lucky, guys, because it happened that when we were, you know, in the final moments of that project at work, uh, I had three weeks off of school because like school closed for, I, I, I don't even remember, to be honest. It closed for three weeks, the final weeks of the project. So I was able to actually focus a hundred, almost 100% on that and, you know, like do the work that I had to do, you know, closing that project, shipping it, fixing the bugs and everything and really take the time to do it and do it right. Uh, so that was amazing. And then since the project was over, I got some time off at, at Gearbox, right? They gave me a month off, uh, which I used to prepare classes and stuff that I didn't need to do. So even though I had three weeks off at school and then a month off at Gearbox, I still work every single fucking day of that time off. I think there's like three or four days that I did nothing, but even then the guilt and the anxiety of falling behind caught up with me. Without those days off, I think I would have burned out. I was clearly close to it. But the tricky thing about that is once I noticed how burned out I was, it was already almost too late. And I had to remind myself that happiness is not a goal. Happiness is what you live every day of your life while you're reaching your goals. My goal now is to have less goals, you know? Now that I'm not gonna be teaching anymore, I will be able to work and do YouTube on the side, uh, which will be perfectly manageable, guys. So I will be able to focus on that and also have some time off uh, in between, you know, which is super important. Uh, but yeah, this video is getting long or whatever. But yeah, in the following days, guys, uh, I might miss a few days here and there. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. It depends on how I feel tomorrow when I get up. If I record, if I can record like a bunch of videos or not, I don't know. Uh, I might take some days off here and there uh, in the following week. I'm still pretty determined to, you know, post one video a day. That is entirely manageable. This week, what really killed me is the assignment that I had to grade took literally all my time. So I have basically no more videos ready and I need to record them and edit them. Uh, and I fucked up my eyes just now, so I can't record today. <laughs> so yeah, guys, uh, don't worry. I'm doing fine. Uh, from now on, I will be doing better and better. You know, I will have more free time. I'm listening to myself and my body and my needs. I will find the time to rest and have the level of energy that I need in order to you know, keep doing what I do at work and also uh, provide content that hopefully you will like. I've been rambling for long enough. Uh, right now I'm gonna finish my coffee and I'm gonna go play drums. That will be an exorcism of all that negativity and I will be feeling amazing uh, but yeah guys don't ever forget that you need to be happy with what you're doing day to day and not working for some crazy end goal at the end because you will only burn yourself out so take care guys take it easy that's what i'm going to do for the rest of the day and have a good one well that was depressing <laughs> So guys, I just wanted to add this little part there at the end of the video just to let you know that I am okay. <laughs> I wasn't feeling that good yesterday, but I had a good night's sleep. I chilled all night long, uh, you know, all that good stuff. So I'm all right, guys. I'm feeling good. I'm about to record some videos. I feel like it. I'm fine. So don't worry about it too much. Make sure to listen to yourselves. If you're feeling burned down a bit, slow down. It's important. And on that note, guys, I will see you in another episode. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.